What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video we are going to be doing a physical media one. I picked up a new steelbook to add to the collection, yes I know. I recently just did a steelbook collection like on my video, entire collection of steelbooks and now I just added a new one and it's the Leprechaun collection right here. So this is all eight films. So today we're gonna show off this bad boy, talk about it and like I said, also talk about you know my feelings on the franchise because this is a franchise that I'm very fond of. Usually like every March I try to return to this franchise. So let's get down to this video, roll it. So yes, the new Lionsgate Steelbooks are out. They have, I believe there's one for the Saw franchise. They have the Leprechaun one. There's the Blair Witch and the Blair Witch 2. It has the two Blair Witch films on it. And then they have the one, the Firefly trilogy that has all of Rob Zombie's that have to do with the Firefly family, the three films, all in one shot. So they have some really cool Steelbooks floating around. I believe they also have one for Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2 as well out there but today I want to go over this one because this is the one that I got lucky I found and the one I was gunning for the one I was most excited for that I wanted and I needed to pick up was the Leprechaun franchise because I actually did I believe it was last year for March covered all of the films and I ranked them all watched them all and everything and it just I always have fun with them every March I try to return to this franchise so this is one that's just like very near dear close to my heart I have a lot of fun with it Warwick Davis is great and I know it's kind of campy horror comedy silly like I can tell some people if they aren't into horror comedy this isn't going to be their franchise you know you really got to be into that slapsticky kind of silly stuff because there's a really bonkers wild entries in this franchise so let's show off this awesome steelbook right away so let's get it all nice and tight right there so you can see there's the front and careful if there's a little glare right there that's my ring light i actually got a new ring light to add to the video so you know improving the production of the videos there's the back of your steelbook and there's your spine right there the Leprechaun collection. Like I said, this is all eight films. The first Leprechaun film, all the way to Leprechaun Returns. So it's just really cool. I, I was like, that's why I mainly wanted it, is because it was all eight films, one shot, really easy to grab. And the only thing I would say is a negative for me with this release specifically is they stack the discs. I kind of hate when they do that, you know what I mean? When they have multiple discs. And I really wish they would have just done, you know, the flipping thing. So that's that's one thing for sure. So let's go over and show off the discs real quick and take them all out. They all have uh, Halloween-y type covers as well too, like colors, you know what I mean, on the disc art. Very simple coloring, but they have different lettering and stuff in different colors. At least it's not all black, you know what I mean? It's not just all just very simple black coloring or anything like that. So there's your other one, boom, boom. And for me, I love Leprechaun 3 the most. That's my favorite. That's the one that I have absolutely the most fun with when you have Warwick Davis as the leprechaun dropping his silly ass, you know, limericks and one-liners like in Vegas. It's just, the, and plus it's the place of greed. It's a perfect setting for the leprechaun franchise. So I also have fun with, you know, leprechaun in space, the fourth film, hilarious leprechaun in the hood, back to the hood. They're all pretty good. The re really the only one I don't like in here is um, leprechaun origins. That's really the only one I don't like because they really tried to, do something completely different and stuff, and that was not a good, not a good look at all. There's the inside right there of your steelbook, and again, there's your back piece. So yeah, this is one that I'm so excited to add to the collection because, like I said, this is a franchise that usually every March I get the itch. I get the itch to watch the Leprechaun franchise, and I'll go through all of them, even the ones I don't like, like even Origins. I'll watch it usually every year just to remember, like, oh yeah, that's that's how shitty they got. Like, that's how shitty we got, you know what I mean? Before we got to Leprechaun Returns, which is fantastic. That one is so good for real. One I highly recommend because it's, you know, a new actor. Yes, it's not Warwick Davis. That's the main thing I know some people might not like is, yeah, it's not Warwick Davis. But the new actor, I think, did a fantastic job. And there's really good practical effects kills and an awesome kind of homage to Evil Dead 2 in there. So, yeah, Leprechaun Returns is one I highly recommend, which is the most recent one, I believe. I think that came out in, like, 2019 or something like that. So, yes, I'm excited, like you said. As you can tell, like I said, I keep saying that. As you can tell, 
I'm very excited to have this in the collection. I already watched Leprechaun 3 because it's my favorite. That's the one I watched first. And I believe there's actually like 12 hours of all kinds of special features on here too. Here's the J card right there if you want to pause that and look at that real quick. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this fun, awesome physical media video as I went over the Leprechaun Steelbook. And I don't know, I might, I'm considering I might pick up like the Rob Zombies Halloween 1, Halloween 2 1 if I see it, or the Firefly Trilogy 1. But a lot of them, they're out of stock everywhere and it's, it's cheaper to find them in the wild. Like this is online right now. This one's going for about $54 I saw online at like, you know, eBay and stuff but I paid 34 bucks at Walmart, you know what I mean? So I think if you go out and you find it physically in the wild, you know, I know it's hard to find physical media in the wild now because not too many stores carry a lot of it, but this one, yeah, it was cheaper than getting it online because I would have had to pay shipping and all that kind of crap. So it would have definitely been close to 60 bucks for this. So I'm excited that I got it for cheap, $34, which is a nice price. All eight films. Can't wait to start binging them. Like I said, I just did Leprechaun 3, but I might hold off and wait till March to kind of breeze through the other ones. Or, you know, it depends on how I feel. Maybe this Halloween, like, I'll just get the feeling that in this October to just go through all of them again and, like, go through the special features. Because, like I said, there's some awesome new stuff that I have to breeze through in terms of special features on here. But be sure to like this video. That helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video, but most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.